Hello, welcome to 21 Things for iPads. I'm Brad Wilson, one of the ed tech consultants at Jackson County ISD, and I'm happy to have you with us. This is going to be a fun journey. It's the first time that this course has been taught in Jackson County, and so I'm going to learn a lot with you. Um, and I'm just looking forward to, to going through the process. And I just wanted to create this video. There are some things that you need to know and some things that you have to do before uh, you come to the ISD for the face-to-face -face, uh, meeting on February 24th, which is Monday, and that's 4.30 to 8. And uh, so the first thing that you need to know is that this is a blended learning course, so you do have to be present um, at the face-to-face -face meeting on that day. And then from there on out, it's going to be a lot of independent work. So if you're signing up for the course, hopefully that's because you're motivated to learn more about the iPad and how it can help you um, instructionally and, and, and also for productivity in the classroom. And you're going to need to be able to watch videos like this or um, read articles and then do projects independently uh, just from the comfort of your own home. And of course I'll be there to support you the whole way um, as kind of a guide. Uh, there are 55 uh, SCAC credits that are available for this course, but you do have to again attend the face-to-face -face and then complete a time log of the hours that are expected for the work each week and then that'll be turned in at the end. You'll be documenting your learning in this uh, course through a blog which is going to serve as a digital portfolio and we're going to talk a lot more about that at the face-to-face -face. and also there's a video that'll, that'll help you get your, your um, blog started even before we, we come to that face-to-face -face meeting. Um, Alright, so some things that you need to do. First of all, you need to be able to install apps on your device. So you probably already have an iTunes account um, but if not, you do need to set one up, and you need to, to be able to install apps throughout the course as we go. Now, the majority of the apps that we'll talk about are free, and to get you started, we're just going to send you a list of some of these uh, free apps that you're going to need to have for that meeting on the 24th. Um, so the first one is Dropbox, and you do need to watch this uh, quick setup video for Dropbox, or just go ahead and set up a Dropbox account on your own, um, because you, you will want to have that Dropbox account set up by Monday the 24th and also have the Dropbox app installed. Now Google, there's a separate video link here that I'm going to send you and that's about four minutes that gets you set up with all the different Google accounts that you need um, and so make sure you go through all that and then the apps that coincide with those Google accounts are the Google Plus app, the Google Hangouts app, the YouTube app, the YouTube Capture app, and the Google Drive app. So when you're online, Google is kind of all in one central place, but then on the iPad, there's all these separate apps, and we're going to want to use all those products, so, so make sure you have the app versions of those installed. Um, the app called Posts is going to be a really nice app to be able to upload to your blog uh, right from your iPad, so make sure you install the Posts app. The iBooks app uh, is going to be important, and then also the iTunes U app. And with iTunes U, there's actually a course companion in iTunes U that you can download here, and we'll give you the link. Um, and that actually goes right along with the course. And the cool thing about that is actually all the apps that I mentioned here and moving forward uh, throughout the course are all in the materials section of that iTunes U course, so you don't have to search for them. You can just click install. Um, so if you want to do that ahead of time, you're welcome to. Otherwise, we'll talk about that in the face-to-face. -face. Okay, so... Another really uh, important reason that I'm sending you this video is because I'm going to be gone all next week um, on vacation. Yeah, yeah, I know, but remember, I don't get the summers off. So um, I wanted to get you this information, and, and if you have any questions, uh, Dan and Stacy, who are the other ed techs here at the ISD, will, will be able to answer any emergency questions, but otherwise I'm really going to be out of contact until, until that Monday. So um, besides following the directions in this video and in the email, uh, please make sure that you obviously you bring your iPad uh, to the, the Monday night. Um, if you're going to use a laptop, like when you're at home and you like using your laptop and your iPad kind of side by side, uh, bring that along too. We'll have some, some laptops available if needed. The majority of this course is really designed to be able to do it right from the iPad, but doing the weekly webinars and there are some other things where if you're watching a video maybe it's easier to have two screens and if you do plan on doing that at home um, go ahead and bring that laptop with you and also some earbuds because um, we're gonna we're gonna make sure we do a test uh, webinar to, to make sure that everybody knows how to do those hangouts and so so bring some headphones with you we'll have dinner that night we'll have some fun 
Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be a blast. It's gonna go by quickly. There is a spring break week in the middle of it of the course there, but it is gonna be a lot of work. You're gonna be um, going through and doing two or three blog posts a week uh, with the different projects. Um, but you're gonna get to put your own spin on these projects and get to implement them in your classroom. And I'll be there to support you the whole time. So uh, stick with it. Uh, please follow you know all these things so that our face to face time can be uh, the best served for you going in, and so you can have success for the course. All right, look forward to meeting you then or seeing you again there. Thanks.